Hey guys, Fubbly here today, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Uh, <laughs> so, in uh, in the last episode, I, I made some blaring, blaringly, blatantly obvious mistakes. I don't know why I said blur. I think I was about to say a different word, and then I chose blatant. Anyways, yeah, so I made, <laughs> I made some stupid decisions. Uh, mainly because I, I I think I said it during the episode, but it was like four a.m., almost five a.m. in the morning. And I thought, hey, this is a good time to record Prison Architect, so let's do it. Uh, moral of the story, not a good time to record Prison Architect. Uh, so, what I was going to do, actually, to, to correct uh, past me's mistakes, is just go free time today. Because I want to I wanna mess around with some things, and I don't want the workers sort of getting tied up in metal plates and all that. So, uh, the first thing is, obviously, all the cell doors are wrong. Um... I don't know why I did that. I wasn't thinking clearly. And then one that's easy to do, which we can do right now on pause, is just that. Just cut the yard down because that because we put a pathway there in the end. Um, and I never bought any more laundry baskets apparently, so we can do that now as well. Uh, how many ones are going to get? I don't know. Let's just get a couple more. That'll probably do. Uh, and then uh, I want to change the configuration of the workshop, which is the main reason I wanted to do free time. So what we're going to do, we're going to get objects, uh, dismantle, and these should hopefully get assigned to the workmen because that happened last time. So what I want to do, get rid of those, is it getting it? There we go. I might have dismantled the light or two there, but anyways, and dismantle those three, uh, those ones, and these ones there. There. Yep, that's good. So let's get rid of those. We're just gonna, we're just gonna shut. Actually, no, no, no. I need to. Oh, hang on. Uh, it's gonna, this is gonna be fun. I need to dismantle this whole uh, workshop, basically. Da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, what we're gonna do? Fast forward time now. Is basically, uh, which I, I, the reason I didn't do this initially. So the idea is, you put all the, um, the saws up the top and all the presses down the bottom because that obviously divides them in half quite nicely. But the reason I didn't do this initially was because. I, I, I always just feel putting a press right at the end of a sword just means they walk less distance. However, in reality, that's not how it really works because you'll tend to see someone on this saw, they might pick up the, the cut plates and like take them over to this workshop. So it doesn't exactly work like that, but that's how I always like to do it because it just, in my mind, makes sense. Um, but I guess this way it will look better. And the reason I'm dismantling this whole workshop is because someone said to sort of do these as a mirror image just for the sake of looking nice really no other reason just because I mean we could have perfectly left it like that it was fine it worked but we're doing it because we want it to look nice and that's that's that really got our new prisoners coming in now here they are uh how many do we have 80 of 84 so we still need to get more prisoners we get 15 tomorrow we have five releasing today that's that's a lot of prisoners being released actually um so, yeah, and the workmen look like they're taking it up to storage, which is kind of annoying because storage is all the way up there. Oh, dogs are barking. Uh, the dogs are catching everything. I also wanted to get more dogs this episode. We'll probably get a dog to patrol the visitation because that is where a lot of things get smuggled in, like cigarettes and all that kind of stuff. So we'll probably get a dog in there, which would be a good idea. But anyways, it looks like they're more or less done moving most of the stuff. Uh, so let's get go ahead and put them back in. Uh, so now we want to... Do this right. We need to get rid of the tables as well, actually. <laughs> the number of times we've moved this table. Oops, I got rid of a light. The number of times we've moved these tables is ridiculous. It really is. Alright, let's get rid of those. Uh, we also still have like $12,000, so... Uh, actually, what I might do... might do these cells now, because... Uh, we don't want we don't want to do it at night time, because then there won't be cells anymore. Did I get the door? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I did. It's just—it's really hard to see like the little red outline of the door when you're dismantling. So dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. Get rid of all of these. <laughs> ah, it would be easier just to leave them, but uh, we, we want them to look nice. Yeah, I, I, I like my prisons to look nice, you know. I don't, I don't want them to look bad. But get rid of all of these, all of these, all of these. And so, in the meantime, all these prisons are probably going to be escorted up to the, the holding cell while we do this. So. Uh, ideally, I probably should have just done a few cells at a time, but I'm, I've decided to do all of them, so... Um, now what we're going to do is go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Um, wait for that one. Go on. Actually, no, we can put it in now. There. How many doors do we have left? 8. There, there, there. 
Yeah, I'm just placing them down now so as they dismantle them they'll just move them around so they won't take it all the way back to storage and do it because they do that sometimes which is really annoying. I am putting these on the right side aren't I? Yeah, good. <laughs> Let's just check that this time. Um, so much like you can see here so much uh, drilling going on as they remove the doors. And then obviously we have to build all the walls back in. Oh I just bought a door, whoops. I might have bought another one before as well, I might not have noticed. Wait till they get rid of more doors. <laughs> Alright, that. It says I have eight, but I guess because they haven't put them down yet, it's not actually accurate. So I don't know how many doors I have then, which is a problem. Although it doesn't say it cost me money, so I think as long as it doesn't have a price as I'm putting it down. Yeah, see that one says 200 bucks, so. And now it shouldn't, so we can put that one down. That one says 200 bucks. There's only two more to do now. It's good. Now there, and one more door is coming off. Oh, where, where's the last door? That one there. Almost done. Come on. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's get all the walls into place. It's really confusing because, like, this door has been removed, but it's just sitting there waiting to be moved by a workman, so it's kind of confusing with all the doors around the place. But we want to put all these walls in the center now and fix this horrendous mistake up. <laughs> Uh, so let's get all this done. Now uh, this is why, like I said, I didn't want to do it during... Uh, well that's why I want to do free time, because if we did, did it during work time, or if we did this during night time, it's not the, exactly the ideal time to sort of make these changes. Come on workman, hurry up. I don't know which ones I've done. Hang on, let's just fast forward and see where we get to. <laughs> I'm getting confused as, as to what's done and what's not. Uh, busy little worker bees doing their job. Okay, so let's get out our wall tool again. Um, I, put it? I haven't put that door in yet, actually. Uh, it's because uh, for some reason some of the doors they've moved them back to storage and then they're going to move them back down again. Ugh. Alrighty. <sighs> Alright, we can put that wall in there though. I'm not going to put in walls in the rooms that don't have doors yet because it might sort of glitch out a little bit. So I don't want to do that. That one there. That one's done actually. That one can be done. Only a few more to go now. These ones down here. Almost there. Oh dear. Alright, well, well, at least once this part is fixed, then it's going to be a little better off. I think that's the, the last couple down there, so that should be good now. Alrighty. <laughs> we we uh, appear to have rectified that issue. Uh, now, was I think that was... The, those were the uh, the main mistakes made during that episode. Uh, now we're going to do this. There's just metal plates everywhere. Um, okay, so we're going to do the workshop now. So we're going to go ahead and grab our table. We're going to do table there. There. And that there and up there. What if we could put a table in the center? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Okay, so now we're going to do saws. One, two, three. And then these are going to go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one. Oh, no. Two, three. There we go. Uh, and then down here now, uh, yes, in line, oh, I sh did, didn't I just mantle those? I thought I did, I guess not. Now I did. Okay, so anyways, we'll have to wait for that, those ones to get out of the way. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Oh, that, that one's kind of annoying, because it kind of blocks the door. Hmm. Ah. I guess we can just do a single door there or something. I don't know, we'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Uh, then we actually still have a couple of presses. Actually, hang on, what have I done? No, that's all wrong anyway, so that's okay. That's okay, it was just wrong. <laughs> it was supposed to be one up higher. Anyways, uh, now we need to tell us to dismantle. Well, good thing I noticed that, otherwise that would have been a waste of time. Alright, yeah, it's supposed to be there, that's better. Alright, so now the door is fine, door is fine. I mean, all the, all the, people, can, all, all the people can still walk over any object pretty much, but still ideal not to sort of block things, because I don't want to block things. Anyways, let's get all that done. Uh, oh, we've got to do the ones over here as well. Ooh, presses. One there, one there, and one there. We also had an uneven number of saws and presses, so that was something that happened. All these trees appear to be grown up now, which is good. Everyone should be pretty damn happy though, I think. Uh, except for sleep. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, actually, I guess because the laundry wouldn't have run today, so I guess they might be a little upset about that. Anyways, workmen are doing their job, working hard. Uh, we definitely have all the prison, prison cells done properly. They look pretty good to me. Yeah, they look pretty good. 
we pretty much broke even throughout this day, actually. We've, we've just, like, earned back the money we spent yesterday, so... All, all we did was waste time, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so they've removed those two saws. Uh, no, saws, presses. That's the word. Uh, so let's put those back in. And, uh... Make sure all the jobs are still assigned. Yes, very good. Okay, so tomorrow we'll put our work back in. Now, where did I have it? I think I had two hours of free time, and then it just went all the way down. Like that. I think I had one hour afterwards. Whoops, that was my phone. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of work. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. So that will be good. Uh, how much is that land to buy over there, actually? Uh, $20,000 to buy that. Fantastic. Uh, so we've got our workshop back almost. I guess they're coming to do those presses in a minute or not. Is anyone doing those presses? Or there's a, a saw and a table there. Oh, I guess they're coming. There they are. Finally. Alright, so that, those will get done and uh, the workshops will be all up and running once more. Uh, what do we want to do? We could we could start working the new workshop. Actually, what we'll do, we'll cut down all these trees. Um, and we can put store those in the workshop for tomorrow. Uh, I kind of want to put more tables in, but it just... Oops. Oh my god. Coins, <laughs> there's, there's coins on my desk and they're sticking to my arm as I lifted it up. Ah, just another brilliant episode of Prison Architect, isn't it? Uh, there's got to be a better way to do these tables in here to fit more. I mean, I haven't put the one back up the top, I've realised that, but... Uh, unless I do... What, hang on, what if I... Planning. Let's go objects. What is that? 14. So we could do... 4... 4... Four, and another four, although then we wouldn't have an entrance, so let's not do that. Uh, and then we could do four, four. Hmm. And if we move that door up one, so if we do another four there. The only reason I like the door there is because it's in the center, though. I don't, I don't think we need that many tables. Screw it, it can't be bothered. <laughs> I, think I'll just, I think I'll just make a mess of it if I try to add more stuff. Alright, so we'll just get another table in there. I don't know where we put it, just there. Yeah. Although we could move that door across, maybe, maybe these two doors, I don't know. Because that one there isn't centered. I realize that, because that's just in line with that, that one there. So I don't know. I don't know, we'll think about it. Now, I, I believe, I'm not sure if you're supposed to dump the stumps. Uh, no rhyming intended there, but I think so. To be able to plant another tree, actually, let's see, can I, plant a, can I just put a tree on top of it? No, it doesn't like me. Okay, so we have to get rid of all the stumps, which is really annoying. Dump, uh, dump, and they're using like a, they're using like a drill to get it out. Love that sound effect. It's beautiful. Get rid of all these, and we'll have to replant them. I don't know. Is, is there a better way to do this? I'm not sure. I, I don't know much about tree chopping. All right, let's do that, and then we can get the gardener to replant a lot of them. So yeah, there's a bunch of logs lined up there, ready to be cut. Uh, and when they go to the workshop tomorrow, we'll get that done, which will be good. Okay, here we go. Uh, a couple more stumps left. All these garbage bags getting taken to the truck. Good. More prisoners. 15 arriving, which will take us just over our capacity, which is fine, because again, we have that holding cell, but we also have one dude leaving. Probably a few more will leave as well. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and start planting these new trees. Oh, oh my god, not there and there. <laughs> there and there. Uh, all the way down. Until they remove those stumps. Okay, so our gardener will get on that as soon as possible. What is this guy doing? Is there a tree stump? Th Why was there a tree stump there? What the hell? There's apparently a tree stump in the doorway that he was removing. Um, yeah. That was the thing. Oh, oh, here they all are. They can't quite fit in, though, because there's a sort of a backlog of, of tasks. There's a lot of trucks coming to our prison, actually. Uh, there goes that truck. Everyone's moving up. That truck can't get in. And I don't think our guards will come and get the prisoners until it's, like, lined up with deliveries, is the thing. Okay. There we go. Now they're getting the prisoners in. Alright, so, they're coming in. We could probably start work on this new workshop. Start work on the new workshop. <laughs> uh, get a few things going up in here. So what we'll do is, we'll just grab the planning tool real quick so we can just sort of get it properly done. Um, now, we'll probably do it the same sort of configuration as that one there. So if we leave two at the top, 
and then go three this walls. Uh, let's do objects this time. Three, three, three. And obviously the same there. I can't really bother to draw them all separately. And then we had a two break, and then we had three, three, and three. Uh, and then we have that room for tables, I think. Yeah. So if we do that, then we can fit a table there. Move it there. And then probably a couple of tables up here somewhere. Eight. Yep, that's good. We have a whole bunch of space here, though, is the thing. Because this workshop is a little bit bigger than the others. And I get heaps of tables! I don't know. Well, maybe we should just center these a bit more in this, this workshop. Because I don't think we need so many tables. I mean, of course, we could do one more sort of um, thing of each. But you can only assign 20 people to each room. So there's not much point in doing that. Uh, but it does fit very nicely, doesn't it? Look at that. We could have 24, although you can only assign 20 people. Uh, hmm. It's kind of pointless. What if we what if we just center it all a li little bit more? So if we move it over one, so let's go two, and that's three. Hmm. You can't quite center them though, can you? By the looks of it anyways. Right. Well, if we move those over one, and then we just put tables down the side like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll do that. Okay, so let's let's look at the table first because those are the cheapest thing. Oh, that guy had jail cell keys on it. What a cheeky bugger. We'll do a shakedown tonight if I remember. <laughs> so let's get all those tables in. So those will get done. Oh, look at this. Our little gardener. He's working hard. Oh, there goes the first tree tonight. We'll see it. We'll pay, we'll pay attention to how much money we get from all these uh, planks tonight. Are they going to move them off or are they just going to glitch there like that one is? <laughs> I, don't, I guess they, they don't move them off properly. Uh, anyways, so we get this up and going. So we got ten thousand dollars. We'll wait till work is over before we actually buy anything because then we'll know how much we have to spend. Uh, at least we'll get a nice healthy amount of money tonight as well, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at our contraband. Twenty-four hours. Not too many things though. There's the jail keys. He apparently brought in the jail keys when he came to prison. God knows where he got the jail keys for the prison from. Uh, <laughs> and uh, as if they would just work magically in this prison, I don't know. Oh dear. Anyways, here comes more sheet metal. Nice and expensive. A lot of, lot of plates being made. Oh yeah, they did move all the, the planks off, that's good. 20, 20, 12, 12. Yeah, so that, that should make quite a bit of money, because I think they are pretty decently profitable. I think, I don't know. Actually, what we'll do while we're waiting, we'll get another dog. Get a couple dogs? No, we'll get one more dog, I think. Uh, let's go dog patrols. Uh, let's just do one in the, the visitation. Oops. And I probably want to end up doing... See, I was going to do that because someone said this. Someone said do them in the cell blocks. I was going to do that, but that's... Because that, I have so many, like, three separate cell blocks. I thought I can just do one up there out the front of one. Actually, I might extend that a little bit. Just so it sort of covers a bit more area. Uh, just so we can sort of patrol that area. So when they come out anyways, I'll get sniffed. And then down there as well. That sort of covers those two. Although I might... These two are sort of more further apart. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see how we go with that. Anyway, so it's eat time now. Uh, is everyone getting fed? That's that's a real question. I don't know. Looks like it though. I, th I think we have a sufficiently large enough kitchen. Which is fine. Uh, someone said I needed to put in... Well, they didn't say I, like, I, I required them, but... Um, they said I should, uh, I think I, because I originally planned for more serving tables, like a couple there. They're like, put them in to finish it. And I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So we're going to get, uh, we'll see how much we get from license plates at 12. And then apparently someone said the, uh, the planks automatically sell at one o'clock. For some reason. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> they just sell at one and not 12. So anyways, 12 o'clock, we're going to get some money. Uh, look at that. 7,900 from license plates and 8,000 uh, and then all, all obviously minus. So we got like 3,000, uh, like $11,000 from that. And then our uh, planks will sell. There they go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. $9,000 from planks. So apparently that little patch of trees gets me more money than the entire workshop. So if I, I don't know if these grow daily, though, is the only thing. I guess we already have that tree grown, don't we, though? It's really hard to see which trees are grown. Because it's night time, I mean, and you can see it during the day quite easily. But we can dismantle that. Because if we can get this as a daily sort of thing, that'd be really good. Uh, we do need to plant that one and that one and that one. Um, that one's also growing, I think. Wait, is it? No, I don't think so. 
I don't know, it's really hard to tell. We'll wait till like early morning then we can see. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and also do some things in the workshop. We go saw, 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 and saw. We've got a lot of money though, so that's good. Uh, I don't want to sort of get ahead of myself though. So there's one there and then we had a two gap. So there, press, 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 press. Just do them all. Oh, no, we're not going to have enough money. I'm not going to do them all. I wish I did more saws and presses, but I've done all that way now. So, <laughs> damn it. Uh, almost had enough money to sort of get it done, but that's all right. So let's go workshop. There it is. Designate that. And we're also going to get a guard in there. I might just hire a new guard. We'll get a couple more, so it's a nice even 20. We have a lot of staff in this prison, which is good. Uh, we're getting prepared for when we get high security prisoners, because I pretty much decided we're going to expand across the road, make it high security only. That's the plan, so it's going to be completely separate from the- it's basically going to be a new prison. Um, this one's still going to be functioning, but we'll start building on that side, which will be pretty interesting. Something new that I've never done, anyways. Well, well, you can only do it this alpha anyway, but it's something new, nevertheless. Uh, so we're going to go for a guard patrol. How have I done it? I've gone through the second row. And apparently he's actually- oh, it's because I've- yeah, uh, it's because I moved the, everything. Because he's patrolling through objects right now, but it, it doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really matter. They can walk through them, but I like them not to. Uh, so we're going to do it down there, along, up, up, and there, and get a guard on that. Perfect. So that will be good. Uh, so we have another workshop up and running, and we should be able to get a maximum of 20 people on there anyway, because I think we have enough people. Because um, that's 60, 60 prisoners, then we have 21 jobs left over, which should be... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, actually, we have a... Oh, we have prisoner intake on. I might turn that off today. We don't need it on today, I don't think. Oh, actually, it was, it was too many prisoners, wasn't it? How many was it? 10. No, I can't take 10. Well, I can take 10, but I don't really want to. Uh, so we have 81, we also have quite a few people leave, we'll just turn that down, we don't need that many people on laundry, we'll go five people on laundry and probably another five on that cleaning. That will just ensure that we get everyone assigned to the workshops. Can't be bothered to do precise maths, although I did have to take, I think I had to take it down two, I think I had two extra jobs that couldn't be filled. Uh, but we will have people leaving is the other problem, so, yes. Let's have a quick drink of water, I think. Is that, is that fully grown? I think so. Hang on, wait. One way we can check, actually. This tree. Yes. That one's not. You can see some of these are really similar. Like, that one's not fully grown. That one isn't. That one isn't. So, yeah, it doesn't quite look like these. Well, I guess these would be a daily thing if we replanted them the second we cut them down. Um, so we will sort of cut that one down. And this one, I think, was fully grown. Because if you don't cut them when they're fully grown, they don't they don't um, drop as much. So that's why you have to kind of wait. So that one was, wasn't it? Yeah, that. <laughs> this is my little measuring tool. I uh, don't think any of these ones are. No, not quite. So we'll do that. We'll dump the tree stump there. Hopefully they can, most of these can get grown before, um, uh, before work time ends anyways. We'll see. Alright, so get all those down and then we'll get our handy dandy uh, janitor. Not janitor. Gardener to plant a new tree there, plant a new tree there. Look at them all walking out, all the visitors. Off they go. Da, 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 da. Alright, that tree's gone, we'll plant one there. So we get our gardener right on that right away as soon as we cut them down. So we can get, hopefully we can get a full sort of, um, forest for tomorrow. I also need to do that, so it's all powered. How are we going on power, actually? That's something I haven't checked in a while. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine, yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, a lot of these trees are looking fully grown. Are they fully grown now? I don't know. It's, I don't think they are. That one is. That one I don't... Maybe? It's pretty close. That one is. That one's not. That one is. I don't know. I guess they are. They probably just vary in size. I, I think they all are, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> they, they vary in size so slightly. But I, I think that means they're all grown. So we're just going to go... I think all of those are. If they're not, then oh well. We get a little bit less. But by tomorrow, they'll all be fully grown. So it won't be a problem, I don't think. So get all those done. We'll, we won't get rid of the stumps just yet. We'll wait till they sort of take all the logs in there for them to cut. Oh, see, oh yeah, that's cool. Because we got because it's work time, our sort of prisoners are coming to collect the logs, which is really cool. I like that. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and dump all these stumps. We're gonna get rid of them now. Dump, dump, 
Uh, that's pretty cool that they, they come out and get them. I like that. If only they would dump the stumps. Alright, so we get rid of all those. Get our handy dandy gardener to sort of replant them all. One, two, three, four. Actually, we're spending quite a lot of money on this, but... I really do want to replant these as soon as possible so they're grown by tomorrow. Because that was very profitable. And I kind of, when we, when we expand, we might have to get some more trees. I mean, we could easily plant some down the side here, but I don't really want to do that. <gasps> money! Pure money up there. Get rid of that tree. <laughs> There's extra money we're left lying around. Oh my god, look at all the sheet metal coming in. Wow. Because uh, we have, a, yeah, I guess we have a ton of prisoners working in here now. Yeah, and you'll see, if you look, you can see them walking between the workshops. Um, and like I said, it's not, it's not ideal. But at least these are all pretty close together, so it's not too big of an issue. Uh, and I think they should work okay if we, when we completely separate the prison. Like, it should still work, because we'll have, a, obviously, this whole barrier in the middle is going to be staff only, so they won't be able to go across. So I think it should be all right. But we'll see. We also have minus $300. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, so we should be at a pretty hefty sum of money today. Anyways, um, oh, look at all these. <laughs> Lots of people stealing. Oh, actually, that's one thing that reminds me of. People are like, there's a gap between your metal detectors. That's just the sprites. Like, they, they still always get scanned when they walk through either of these two squares. So, that's not a problem. Uh, that tree is cut down. That's good. All these trucks waiting to be sort of loaded. Uh, we can probably cut these ones down now, I think. Possibly. Not that one. That one's too small. I think... This, that sort of size there is correct. Is that one, I think, is possibly correct. I don't know. That one's definitely smaller. There. I don't know, it's, hard. it's especially hard to tell at night time. Hang on, let, let me grab up my little tree. That's pretty close. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it goes up one more size. Let's watch. Let's watch together, shall we? Nah, screw it, we got money. Oh, wait, I think it just did go up another size. Or something else did. I don't know. Dismantle that tree. Um, <laughs> whatever. Where's that stump as well? When I get rid of that stump there. Uh, 6,800 from wood today because we did not have a full inventory. Uh, so we'll put another tree there and hopefully uh, by the time they go to work, these will all be ready to cut down. Because we'll, we'll, we might actually just cut them down during work time. That would probably be the best way to do it. Uh, but that's good. We're getting about like 20 grand a day and we can in pretty much one day buy that. But I'm not going to buy it just yet because I want to finish this prison off first. Like this, this sort of... Uh, medium security prison. Uh, so, we need to get a, a saw there, there, and there. And that will finish off that workshop. Is there anything else that we really, really need to do? I mean, we could do CCTV, but we don't really need to. Um, I think there really is. I mean, we could finish off the set of phones in here, because they kind of messed up. I might change the way I've done this. I might actually dismantle all these phones. I'm just going to rotate them in a different direction because I think it'll fit better when we do that. Uh, yeah, so we'll do that. We have lots and lots of phone booths in this prison, actually, so they shouldn't have any problem. Uh, we might turn prisoner intake on, actually. Eight prisoners tomorrow. Uh, 8 a.m. That's all right. Could do with more than that, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so we're getting rid of all those. I was just going to put them in a different sort of... I was going to do it this way, I think. So we do it there. But I'm still going to do a gap in between because we don't need any more than we already had. I just wanted to do them this way instead. And um, as I say that, I'm buying more. Uh, do it that way, then we'll wait for those two to be picked up and then we'll put one there and one there. We don't really need that many, but it doesn't matter. Just to sort of finish off this room. Actually, th that's the one thing we got to... Well, it's not the one thing. The other thing we should do before we move on is do all the flooring in the prison. Because we want to, we want to do some fancy flooring, don't we? Get some new flooring there, like get some uh, sand. Get sand. Can you do sand in cells? Oh, it has to be outside. Damn it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Have sand flooring for their cells. You don't deserve proper flooring. Uh, let's get the phone booths. Put those on there, and, uh, and then that will finish off the common room, more or less. Besides flooring, so we have twelve grand. Uh, what do we want to do flooring as? In the canteen and the kitchens, probably white tiles because I. That seems to fit quite nicely. 3,900 bucks. I think that will be all the flooring we do for today. <laughs> because that, well, because we're going to spend a ton of money on sheet metal. Uh, yeah, it's going to be expensive. It is going to be expensive because we've got so many saws. Oh, dear. Uh, right, so also wait for most of these to grow. Those ones haven't even started yet. Uh, 
We need, we need a bigger tree farm. When we when we uh, plan out the the high security prison, we're gonna we're gonna put in a tree farm. You know you know that we're gonna do that. Definitely, we've definitely gotta have a tree farm. Uh, but a lot of these can be actually cut down. So I was gonna wait. Actually, yeah, we'll wait. Oh, it is work time. So get rid of that one. Probably these three there. I think we're done. And that one down the bottom. Maybe that one. I think those can grow a bit more, but I'm not sure. Let's get rid of these stumps right now, because that's the other thing we've got to do. Those. I think that... I don't know. I'm just going to do it anyways. That one's definitely too small. That one looks okay. I don't know. Ah, oh, screw it. Well, I'm just going to get rid of all the bigger ones. I think actually that one's a bit small. Oh well, doesn't matter. We've done it now. Alright, so we're going to get all those down. Hang on, let's slow down time so I can sort of do this properly. Right, let's get new trees in there, there, and there. Get rid of all these stumps. Dump. Dump. Dump that one too. Ah, oh, so much TV is clicking. Oh, if, if, no, you can't. Have, do you really have to dump all the stumps? Because that is, if I have to do that on a bigger tree farm, that's gonna be annoying. Maybe I wonder if there's a mod actually. There might. I haven't looked. I I, I don't know if there's a mod because you know, like you can just click and drag dismantle. If there's a mod that you can click and drag to dump, especially tree stumps, that would be good. Probably get that if it was. I'll have a look actually, or if you guys know, let me know. Right, let's get rid of that tree there because that can also be cut down. Tree and tree and tree, 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 and tree there. Probably should get another gardener at some point as well. Uh, let's get a couple more trees in here. And so, wait for that stump to get. Removed. Work time will be over pretty soon as well. Um, I might as well just cut this tree down. It doesn't look like it's ready, but whatever. We'll get them to sort of do that. Although there's only half an hour, they might not cut it. I guess they won't now. It's not enough time. No, there isn't. Damn it. Should have left that tree. Although it seems to still have like three logs coming out of it, so... It still looks like it was ready to be cut down. I don't know. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Every time they leave the workshop, there's like dung, 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 finding all the tools they stole from the workshop. All right, so we got all those trees there, which is good. We got one thousand dollars left, so that's not as good, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so we will wait until we get our money. If we have enough money to buy that, I'm gonna buy the land because I I still wanna. Because I still want to do the floors before we actually start building, but if we buy the land, we can start planning it. And while this still makes money, and then we can put all the floors in, and then we can start building it. So, that's my uh, rationale behind that. Anyways, let's have a look at our contraband. Past 24 hours. Probably had all the metal detectors. Yes, all there. <laughs> uh, that guy was detected there, but... Uh, oh, wow, we got like 15,000... Well, 14,000, I guess, from regular uh, income and license plates. And then, hopefully we should get enough from logs, although I'm not sure. 6,400, yeah, that's enough. Now we got 22,000. Bye. Oh, that was painful. <laughs> it was like laggy. Yeah, well, it didn't do any like forest or anything. I actually kind of did. There's a little bit of a forest there. I guess the, I guess this is the new terrain generation because it's got, it does have a little bit of a forest. Different terrain there as well. So we will actually go and cut all these down because we'll get money from it. So get rid of all these trees. Uh, any there. So it's, it's like, it's kind of like cash back. When you <laughs> I get money back after buying it. That's good. Right, so get rid of all those. Um, and we'll get a bit of money from it. So that's good. Uh, eventually we'll obviously have the entrance here. So they can just go between the two prisons. <laughs> Isn't there supposed to be a guard patrolling there? Apparently I took him off that patrol. Some and off that one. Why did I do that? Hang on. Oh. Uh, all my patrols. Are I guess actually I think, it I think that happens when you expand the land. So I don't think it's been like that the whole time. Uh, yeah, I think it's when you expand land, it sort of glitches out patrols for some reason. No, that wasn't a guard patrol. That was a guard patrol. The rest were dog patrols, I believe. There, 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 and there. Yeah, that looks right. Um, uh, so everyone's back on. And we also had deployment. No, deployment stays. For some reason, patrols kind of glitch out. 
All right, so they were going to cut down all those trees, get all those logs back. We're going to dump all the stumps because we don't want them. Uh, I'm going to have to zoom in so I can actually see. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, this is tedious. <laughs> oh, well, this would be a nice bit of extra money um, when we get around to cutting that up. Uh, tree stump, cut that. Did I leave that? No, I got rid of that tree stump. Okay, so that's good. So I got all those trees there. We got plenty more stuff. And we'll fast forward time. Uh, but I'm probably going to leave this episode here. It's a bit shorter than uh, other ones. But I, I feel like the next step is going to be... Like, the next thing I want to do is plan the next prison. Unless there's, again, some mistakes I've made. Uh... <laughs> Because I want to plan that prison while we make money, like I said before. So while we're planning, we can sort of do the floors in here and finish it off. Um, and what we'll what we'll probably end up doing is you, still using this room uh, for CCTV, but it will probably be to monitor that prison. It's kind of weird, but yes, so that's probably what we'll do. Um, so the guard patrol of that room also sort of got reset. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> we need our one guard to watch the three monitors. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll do that. And if I've made any mistakes or done something stupid, let me know. Uh, and yeah, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.